And now, ladies and gentlemen, if you would, please welcome to the ice the members of the 2016 NCAA National Champions from the University of North Dakota. Welcome back to the has presented by 10K Takes, brought to you always by the Chill Boys. And you know what, guys? I just recently saw Chill Boys has some t-shirts on their website now. So, folks, go out to www.chillboys.com, get, get your underwear as always, your socks. You know, I know, your, I know your feet are starting to stink. It's getting warm, you know. Time to time to up, you know, time to restock those socks, get some fresh ones in there, you know. Just you always want to have fresh feet. Um, and get your get your t-shirts. You know, check out Chill Boys. Always a great company. Um, let's get into our weekends here. The weekend recap brought to you by Beauty Status, a local Minnesota hockey apparel company. They've got stickers for your man cave. They've got t-shirts they've got lids just really authentic stuff they've got there um go check them out at www.beautystatushky.com check them on all the socials there beauty status great stuff this week it's going to be a little different i'm joined by my co-host trevor olson and our producer jack mason is you know, hopefully he's still alive. He's down in Mexico right now, just flooring it down there. I don't know what he's doing, but hopefully he's doing okay. Um, filling in for him is Boss Man. Boss Man, thanks for coming on. Thanks for filling in. And our guest, very special guest, he's, uh, some call him a champion. Um, I don't like calling him that, but uh, Matt Register. Thanks for coming on, Reg. Yeah, thanks for having me on, boys. Yeah, it's uh, it's always good to see you, man. Yeah. So, so I played with Reg my first year of pro um, in Colorado, and you know Reg was kind of the big dog walking around there. Um, you know, got a couple, got a couple D D Man of the Year awards, a couple championships. He thought it was pretty sweet driving a you know blacked out Tahoe, just nasty. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I, I guess. Yeah, I mean, got some years of pro under my belt, and you know, you get a lot of rookies come in their first year and try to big dog you a little bit but uh you got to put them in place a little bit so love that uh no it was uh me and gage had a we had a, we had a good year playing there together in, in yeah. colorado so yeah that was a hell of a time yeah. um very fortunate to start off my pro career there, especially <laughs> with that crew so yeah um yeah let's get into our weekends here fellas would you, you guys get up to anything good else what'd you what'd you get up to uh i went to a baby shower for my gal's sister over at the fam's place so <gasps> <laughs> Sorry, I just almost puked. There we, go. <laughs> there we are. They're, they're a great. They're a great family. It was um, <clears throat> a lot of drinks. I had a lot of drinks sat in the corner. Oh, and, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It wasn't like it's a, kind of like a quiet buckle. Yeah. Like in the corner. Yeah. Sat in the corner. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> little old cast drinking in the corner. These yeah. people have no idea I'm crippled. Right yeah. Now. <laughs> <laughs> that was exactly it. Uh, spent the whole weekend down there. So, I mean. Nothing too spectacular, but this upcoming weekend, I'm meeting up with some uh, old buddies, hitting a couple of golf rounds. And oh, then, yeah. Um, what do you got? Yeah. We're playing down at uh, the Wilds down at Mystic. Oh, yeah. I yeah. just played there last yeah. week. And I was How is that? I've never yeah. played it. It's a nice it. course. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I haven't played it this year, but it was, last uh, year. It was great. I just played it this weekend. Really? It was great. I'm excited. So the I grass got the, is really green. I love that. Yeah. love that. Um, and then we're playing Edinburgh, Edinburgh, whatever the one up in kind of a tough course up in Maple Grove or Brooklyn Park. Yeah, there, something yeah. like that. Okay. Yeah, I played there yeah. once last year. It was a fun little track, but yeah, it's hard. Yeah. So that's what I got going. A lot of water there. Yeah, that'll ton yeah. of water. Yeah. I don't. I got like the it. poles too early. <laughs> yeah. Take out the big dog on everything. Red yeah. trouble you. I'm well, sure. You, I'm sure you did some golfing. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I I played Friday golf and uh, you know. Uh, it was a nice day out. Started drinking early, and then uh, go to the Twins game on Friday night. Uh, couldn't really tell you what was going on in the game. Just kind of there for the beers, and then uh, <laughs> uh, and then I run into Gage uh, Friday night. Yeah. Uh, smack Smack Shack. Yep. Yeah, smack yeah. Shack. Great establishment. So uh, yeah, just wandered over there, and you know I'm, I'm walking around and turn around, and I see Gage, and <laughs> we hug it out a little bit, and there I haven't seen him in a while, yeah. but. Uh, yeah, it was a nice little Friday to get uh, back in the mix, get my weekend underway. And uh, Saturday, uh, 
just took the day off, hit yep. a pretty good Friday, and then yep. uh, back on the golf course Sunday at uh, good old Winsong Farm Golf Club there, nice. where I play. Where I play out. It's a decent track, eh? Yeah, it's great. Great little track. Got yeah. a little member guest tomorrow, so. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. Got Who are you, you playing with? Yeah, uh, buddy uh, Tyler Sheehy. Yep. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah so he's. Uh, He's gonna come out. Good play, old play Iowa Wild buddy there. Yeah, yeah, something like that. <laughs> Roommates in Allen for a little bit there. Yeah, and yeah. So it, uh, utilize those events a little bit, you know. I like that. Yeah, yeah. I, I went golfing at the Wilds um, on Friday. I usually play with my brother. We're very similar. In What'd golf. you shoot? Um, I shot an eighty-five. Okay. All right. All right. It was not. I actually played good golf. I I, I three wiggled six times. Yeah. Six okay. times, three wiggle. Yeah. It's always the short game that takes yeah. forever. It's like, back. come on, Yeah, man. you got to cut that out for I'm hit, Yeah, I'm hitting the driver <laughs> yeah. well. I'm, I'm spanking the irons, and then all of a sudden, I'm just got the fucking yips yeah. on, the, on the green. <laughs> yeah. It's like... That happens. Ah, uh, it's frustrating. But yeah. yeah, and then Saturday... Oh, actually, Friday, yeah, after I golfed, um, met up with Besser. Oh, yeah. And uh, Tyson Jost there, and all the wild route um, at Nolos Rooftop. Yeah. I almost went over, you know, it looked like they were having a good time. I almost went over there and said, hey, what the fuck are you guys smiling about? <laughs> I was about fucking winning, you know? God damn it. I'm not happy. I wish I was watching you guys right now. Yeah. No, but uh, it was cool seeing those guys. It's always fun going out with Brock because I usually convince them to get, you know, pick up the tab. Oh, so nice. It was a pretty cheap night for me there. Yeah, I'd say. But uh, it's huge, yeah, but... And then woke up Saturday, and uh, you know the mini movers hired uh, eight new guys coming out of college. Nice. So um, did a little training session with everyone, had a little barbecue there. Nice. And then uh, Sunday didn't do much, just kind of laid low. Was that the playoff? Yeah, that was the playoff day. Pretty much just watch Game Seven all day yeah. long. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Yeah. Um, but boss man, you get up to anything good? Well, uh, I'm surprised you didn't hit on it, but our weekend actually started Thursday, technically, or into Friday morning. Uh, we, were at, we were at Tom Reed's for the unfortunate wild game six. Basically drank ourselves into oblivion until five in the morning the oh, next day. I uh, was back up at eight for work, which was horrible. Oh, wow. um, yep. Somehow survived the day, got, got out and played golf. Goodrich, if you guys ever play there in Maplewood, it's actually yep. it's like 36 bucks for 18 in a cart. And with your receipt, you get two for one drinks. Oh, so, Jesus. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Got a. Oh, sounds like a hell of a deal. Yeah, it's the best. The summer? It's the know. best. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Got, yeah. Definitely got a little banged up thanks to that deal. And then uh, Saturday, got out and played uh, Manitowoc Ridge in White Bear Lake. Oh, uh, yeah. that, was a, that was a fun course. It took about 12 or 13 holes to get the banana cut piss missile in action. So, <laughs> but, but, but once I was good there, man, I was just striping it. So. Uh, yeah, no, it was good to go out and get some golfing, and then I went to the Twins game on Saturday night um, just to try to fill the empty hole in my heart that the Wild left, and unfortunately, it's not quite quite there yet, but yeah. uh, it's good to get out and watch some baseball. And then, yeah, you mentioned Game 7 Sunday, just laid around, uh, just sports bet all day, watched yeah. all the games, had four TVs going at once, and yeah, just basically endured my poor decisions starting Where'd you night. Where'd you come up with the uh, banana cut piss missile? I love that shot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dude, it's it's a big reason why I love hitting a cut is because most golf courses are designed for a fade. Like growing up, my dad always used to scold me and say, "You need to you need to learn how to hit a draw." That's what all the pros were doing until Dustin was the first guy to be like, "Hey, I'm going to try this fade thing." Now they're all hitting fades. Yeah. A lot of the golf courses are designed for fades. Yeah, you play a dog leg left, you're fucked, but. Most holes do curve right. It's the way most golf courses are designed. So when you learn to play the fade, you get quite an advantage on the course. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I play the fade, too, not by choice. Just that's the way it comes yeah, off the club the for way. me. And uh, yeah. it's always funny playing that dog leg left because I do try to turn the turn the wrist over. I'm like, I'm going to draw one in there. And then it's just a fucking duck hook into the woods. <laughs> <Yeah>. Yep. Four. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's get into the hypotheticals. Um, I thought about this one while golfing. Okay, when you're golfing, are you a guy who's got music in the speaker, you know, on the speaker is kind of kind of a party, or are you serious, you know? I know, the reason I ask this is because I know a couple of guys who want it, you know, no music, that kind of bothers them. Um, I love the music, personally, because I'm never really playing, like, that seriously. Um, I can understand why guys don't like the music, but... I'm, I'm, I'm a mental midget when it comes to... <clears throat> 
quietness. I'll just have thoughts about God knows what going on in my head. <laughs> so I usually have about th- three to 14 beers and the music as loud as I can while I play golf. That's yeah. the only way to do it. Yeah, I mean, for me, it's it's music. Yeah. I mean, like going on the golf course and standing over your ball, complete silence and people <laughs> watching you. Like it's, <laughs> I'm not playing on the PJ Tour. I'm not going yeah, out yeah. here trying to win events. You know, I'm trying to have a good time, right? So, I mean, like music yeah. for me, it's a go. Yeah. Um, usually by the end of the round, it gets louder and louder for sure. But, um, you know what? I just, I, I, I can't play with guys who yeah. don't yeah, want to listen to music and serious. are a little bit too serious. That you know, is a that, good uh, point though. That the volume does, you know, you, you add a little hair at every, oh, yeah. every couple holes. Yeah. Like, ah, turn it up yeah. a little yeah. bit here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it was so, I had a story from the, this is funny. I had a story from the weekend when I was golfing. So I, uh, I hit when I was par five, I hit like a seven iron trying to put it on in two and it goes in the water and it's like a dog leg, right? And the ranger's sitting right over the hill. Like I can't see him. I hit the shot. It goes in the water. I'm like, fuck, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> we drive up the ranger sitting right there. I'm like, oh God. Damn. First like of all, are you, are you telling me you're going driver? seven iron on a par five to get on the green and two yeah my drive my drive i absolutely wow i I pumped for you i pumped my drive absolutely pissed on it (laughs) it went 335 wow 330 i mean i might have been a little back when for you yeah yeah hey it all counts it It was one of those times where like your shoulders are almost numb after you swing because you swung so damn hard (laughs) oh hey it all counts yeah just found the center of the club perfectly you know what that sounds like i've golfed with you reg you're you're a long ball too yeah well i'm getting older now so i the yardage is uh it's getting a little loose but still it gets out there oh yeah yeah Yeah. um well boss man we got to hear your take too are you are you listening to music when you're playing are you silent I'm a big believer in people who do anything in silence are psychopaths. <laughs> I I need tunes to be bumping on the golf course. I think like the combination of a little bit of drinking and tunes is how I really get in my element. Yeah. You know? Obviously, I don't overdo either of them, but I think like yeah, I don't know how like if, if for people who think that things happening in their backswing actually has anything to do with it, they need to grow up. Yeah. Like, yeah. For people who get mad if you know, someone's talking in your swing, it's like, no, you just don't have the mental strength to handle <laughs> yeah. someone having a conversation. Yeah. I talk in my own you. swing. Yeah. Like, I'm like, you know, how's so, the fucking weather yeah. today? <laughs> yeah. Music, yeah, yeah, music is a necessity out yeah. there. Yeah. I mean, that's just how you have fun. You no, know? yeah, you bring up a good point. I mean, I, I think about, like, have you ever drank with no music? <laughs> I mean, that sounds insane. Yeah. Drink, getting drunk yeah. with no music you probably got a problem there but <laughs> yeah you do <laughs> yeah. yeah you do <laughs> <laughs> yeah you can't you can't do it without music it's like whenever i get into that uber you know you're pre-gaming and you're like oh yeah let's head out to the bar uber's here let's get in and you get in the uber and it's you know someone who doesn't really like music much or they're playing terrible music for most of the time and you get in, it's such a buzz killer. You're like, God damn it, get me to this bar. I can't <laughs> need Absolutely. music. Yeah. yeah, I can't listen to this. Yeah. I need music. How long do we have? Huh? <laughs> what are we getting there? Let's go. All right, yeah. let's go. <laughs> All right, we'll move on. Next one. Um, this one. Okay, so when you go on vacation, are you are you lo- are you trying to relax? Um, are you trying to recharge the batteries, or are you flooring it? I think we uh, we might have already talked about this one. Well, it might have been a topic at one point, but who are you who are you on vacation with though? That's a great like, question. Like who, and how, how long yeah. is the vacation? Well, I'm yeah. saying you know what. Are you going with the boys? Or on no, vacation, no. This or is what with, this like, is like. What you want to do right now? It's not like. It's a you tough know? question. Is it like a solo? Is this a solo you're not vacation? On, you're is not. This a yeah, solo you're mission? not on like a vacation. What? You're not on a vacation. You get to choose. So you're choosing. Really? You know, are you going to relax or are you going to floor it? I mean, I'm. I think for me, I'm going to relax. I mean, if it's solo mission or uh, maybe even going with a significant other or somebody, yeah. you know, it's I'm probably relaxing. But so are you relaxing when you're with that significant other? Or are you? It's kind of. I feel like the significant other one is a little relaxing, but yeah, you're also flooring it a it, little it, bit. It, like, yeah, that's a that's a tough question. It it's is a tough question. It is. I think. Um, <clears throat> I think there's a little bit of flooring that goes on during the day, but oh, then yeah. you get then you get ten eleven hours of sleep. For you sure, know? yeah. Like sure. you put yourself to bed at yeah. at ten o'clock. It might not be on your own accord. Absolutely. But I think there's there's some drinks being had during the day, and then it you know you get your sleep at night. 
Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a loaded question. I mean, where you're going, destination, who you're with, with, how many days I've never, you know, I, I, I think the theory behind vacationing is to like recharge the batteries and relax. But for me, I don't think I've ever relaxed on a vacation. Like, but who are you going with? I've never really went on a vacation you know, like unless you're going with your family and your dad, you and your dad just get yeah. loaded, or your dad and your brothers, or yeah, whatever yeah. you're doing, you know. I just, I've yeah. never been on vacation where it's relaxing. I've just never done it. Yeah. I don't, I don't really have any. Could go, could go a lot of ways. I don't really have any desire to do that. It's like when you go on a vacation, yeah. you're somewhere like you've never been. It's like nah, I kind of want to do things. Like For I don't sure. want to just fucking sit yeah. down and do nothing. I do that yeah. all the time. Yeah. Boss man, how about you? Since turning 21, I've only floored it on vacation. Yeah. I think I think the way I actually like like to recharge the batteries is just to sit in front of the TV and watch sports for like 12 hours straight. <laughs> but if, I, if I'm in a new place, I kind of want to experience things and do things. And at yeah. some point, it usually results in drinking. For so. sure. Yeah, I mean, that's how I view it, too. And I... I you know, I question myself, you know, is that the normal thing? And I don't, I think we're all kind of off on that. I think if you were to ask America, most people would say relax. I mean... But- we're all kind of in that same we, – we share those same similarities. Like, we like having a good time, you know. Yeah. Some people don't like having fun. No, you know? absolutely. absolutely. Like, what, what what can you do nowadays without drinking, though? That's fun. Like, yeah. What are you doing? That is a fun? great point. What are you I doing thought about that question a lot, and without, I can't – Without booze. not a lot of answers. Right? You're sitting on a beach? Oh, I'll have a fucking yeah. margarita. Yeah. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, automatic. Yeah. You, you know what? I, I, going to a sporting event? Oh, I'll have a beer. having a beer, yeah. yeah. You know? I feel like, yeah, I that's know. pretty normal for everyone, probably. There. Right? Like, what are you? What kind of fun are you having without <laughs> drinks? <laughs> reading I just a, don't. I just reading don't, a book. Yeah, I, staying at home. And Sometimes I golf without drinking weekdays. I don't. I won't have any drinks out there. I'll just dial it in golf. Well, okay, maybe on a Tuesday for sure, but. <laughs> I mean, I, it's well, way, I, I don't know if I can play is, golf with you then. I don't it, know. It, it is way better <laughs> drinking. Right. For sure. I mean, it's yeah. a, I mean, you don't have to have 10 beers, but, you know, yeah. maybe a nice cold beer if yeah. you're playing like shit out there or something like that. Or I think that, that's the toughest thing is having one or two. Oh, for sure. Because as soon as the cold stuff hits your lips, it's kind of like, oh, okay. It's like once you have two and you get that little buzz going, yeah, you're yeah. like, God, you know, a third one would be be really good put me right in the pocket yeah. and then after that third one you're like god that fourth one would even put me deeper <laughs> yeah. in this pocket <laughs> yeah so true it's it just keeps on going with yeah. me yeah that's part of that's something i feel like i need to work on because when i do go out it's like i would like to enjoy that light that light buzz more oh, rather yeah. than you know trying to skip over it and just try to get drunk you yeah. know by 10 absolutely yeah. just let it ride out yeah. that nice yeah. little buzz yeah yep I'm going to start working on that, guys. Yeah. Just follow, I'll follow up with you on that. <laughs> As you get older, it happens. Though. Hey, yeah. you know. All right, let's move on. Um, okay, so would, would, you rather, would you rather have the lake or the ocean? Lake. Okay, explain yourself. I want some explanation here. Um, <clears throat> fucking all the shit in the ocean and fucking salt water and all that. I'm out. <laughs> man like yeah give me a lake i'll do some fucking water sports and like tubing and shit yeah and then i'll call it a day ocean i get stung by a fucking jellyfish or some shit and i'm in the fucking (laughs) hospital i'm out man i don't want anything to do with it i'm going uh i'm going the ocean i think sitting in the sand and yeah it's kind of getting the water when you get a little hot you know sitting on the sand maybe having a couple cold beers yep you dip your head in the water and get back out and then kind of ride your day out you know on the, on the beach you know i mean that's fair that's fair until a shark um, fucking sn- grabs your fucking leg yeah, i guess a lot of things to look at around there too as well yeah there is the beach. yeah that's true it's good you know good good really, people watching good, really you know? good scenery yeah. at the beach yeah. on the oceans yeah. there um, yeah it is quite the feeling being submerged in the ocean you know you kind yeah, of feel like it could not, take away it you know like you're not you on, yeah anytime. you're not on land anymore you're like just in yeah. the ocean kind yeah. of thing yeah, yeah. It's just feels, that's fair you're kind of it submerged in the earth for, yeah hey i mean but yeah no i'm going lake for sure um just from the versatility <laughs> <laughs> holy it's, spinoff it's so versatile you know like fucking you can ice fish on it you can snowmobile on it and then you can ride your boat on it when it's warmer and you know do it all said you can fish do whatever. I mean, um, you can you can deep water fish. 
No, yeah, you, the, you can definitely fish in dope. both. Yeah, I'd probably be yeah. better fishing in the ocean. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but, you know, they don't freeze over, so you can't ice fish. True. Not that ice fishing is fun. It's just an excuse to, you know, sit somewhere with the boys and drink beers again. Exactly. Go back to the <laughs> like, point about doing the, activities. Doing without activities that. without drinking. Yeah, try try finding a guy <laughs> who goes one. ice fishing without drinking. <laughs> yeah. I mean, holy shit, you might yeah. as well. You find that guy, you might as well throw him in prison. He's got bodies buried. <laughs> yeah, <him>. no kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Boss, man, how about you? What are you going with here? I'm going with Lake. Uh, specifically sandbars. There's something special about a shallow area of water and just being able to sit there and just, just hammer beers. If you ever played like at Cedar Lake in Wisconsin, if anyone knows where that is, they, they set up a huge volleyball net and it's like this big, like 10 on 10 game of volleyball. And the <laughs> out of bounds markers are, are areas to put your beer in that also indicate where you're out of bounds. And I don't know, sandbars, man, that like, is great. sandbars are fantastic. I got to find myself That's, there at some point. Yeah, sandbars Good are point. fantastic. Good they're point. also disgusting. They're like, pretty gross. They're yeah, mostly pear. That's yeah. the only downside. When you go to Lake Minnetonka, Big Island on the fourth, like you're literally just shit. treading around and puke, piss, and shit. Wow. Yeah, oh. yeah. But then yeah. you'll find yourself a free pair of shades every once in a while. That's nice. <laughs> is that a good trade off? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't know. Is the trade off? There's that, a hypothetical. Yeah. yeah. What kind of trade or what kind of shades? Like a nice pair or yeah, like I mean, just I like found, a five found, dollar pair? I found like kind of a beater pair of Ray Bans, but I was like, yeah, Ray Bans, not right. bad. If it's Minnetonka, you're finding Oakleys for sure. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> you're lucky <laughs> enough to stumble on some. Just I also I also agree with uh Trevor's take on the ocean creatures. Not yeah. a fan of those. Don't know a lot of them, don't know what they could do to me. I'm just gonna stay away. <laughs> yeah, they do they do kind of mess with you. Yeah, but how far are you guys thinking you're going out in the ocean though? Like <laughs> yeah. you guys like trying to go out far and like there it sounds like they're they're treading out yeah. deep into the ocean where all these creatures are living because yeah, they're not really no anywhere Wh- which what kind of sharks are the ones that swim around docks are those hammerhead sharks tiger sharks there's a certain type of shark that loves either way water. sharks sound fucking terrible <laughs> yeah it's not i mean jellyfish are close aren't they yeah, yeah they're kind of in the mix. stingrays yeah. i've swam with i've swam with uh jellyfish actually in the uh black sea um Subtle over by brag. over by turkey Really? Turkey and uh, Russia. Okay. Yeah, jumped yeah. in, jumped in. <laughs> okay. Jumped in. All of a sudden, no, none of us see all these all these jellyfish. We jump in, jellyfish all around us. Fuck that. It you're was scary on, as fuck. You're going on vacation to Russia? Oh, no. No. That what was are you not, doing up there? I was, I was playing puck, snapping it crispy. Nice. <laughs> nice. Tape to tape stuff, eh? Snapping it crispy at the old Sochi Olympic rink. Good, Oof. you? Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> Come around the net, snap on the tape, eh? <laughs> yeah. huh? No, but the town, Tie off the, the glass. The town was not. The town was not great, though. It was like their travel destination. It was not great. They're killing all the stray dogs that are running around because yeah. Putin didn't want them running around during the Olympics. Yeah, it's pretty wild time. <laughs> Jesus <Yeah>. Christ. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's a true story. They, I mean, Putin, that's incredible. Putin, Putin ordered and put rewards in for people who brought in stray dogs because in Russia there's stray dogs everywhere. So like people obviously will go get a dog and they'll be like, ah, fuck this thing. I don't have the time for it. And they'll just let it out the front door. So everywhere in Russia there's just dogs running around like everywhere. That's fucking wild. Yeah. So, that's yeah, I mean, that's crazy. kind of a, you know, now you know type of thing. For sure. Yeah. Um, all right, let's move on to the next one. I got St. Paul or Minneapolis. What are you guys going with? Going Minneapolis. Yeah. Just can't say I've spent too much time in St. Paul, but, you know, I mean. Minneapolis is a pretty elite spot. There's some undercover spots in Minneapolis. That are What's your spot, like, in Minneapolis? Uh, kind of a North Loop guy, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of where I. Favorite spot in the North Loop, go. Man, I mean. I don't know. Is it? I don't know. The Loop yeah. snack. I think I'm Hewing, going, Hewing's pretty. Hewing's yeah. pretty nice now for drinks. I think I would have said um, the Loop. I would have said the Loop two years ago. Now yeah. I like the Smack Shack. That's yeah. It's a good spot. Is that agree, actually a I big play? That. Oh, I yeah. agree with that. That's a big play, really. Yeah. Yeah, Smack is great. Yeah, it's great. I, last time I was in there, I I don't know. We just after the bar, I went and got a lobster mac and cheese. It yeah. was really good. I didn't know. Great it. food in there. Also, 1029 bar over the northeast. Yeah. They have yeah. the Smack Shack food. It's it's elite stuff. It seems like everybody was going to Smack then, the loop before now. Everybody's just staying at Smack. Yeah. That's interesting. And they got the pig wheel there. there. 
pull tabs, right? Do they pull, pull tabs. Pull tabs are always Pig good. wheel. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you can't really go wrong. We just got to get them to put a dartboard in there, and they got everything. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Need a dartboard. Yeah. I'm going. Boss, well, I, yeah, what do you got, Olsen? I'm going Minneapolis as well. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I just, as much as I love, like, the wild and shit, I'd rather go to a Twins game, I think. Yeah. Live, yeah. I'd rather go to a Twins game. Yeah. I think the bars over here are better. Yeah. Uh, bars in St. Paul are probably a little older. You yeah. know, older crew, oh, older. Yeah. So maybe yeah. in a few years, St. Paul's my look, but yeah. I'm going Minneapolis. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna uh, I'm gonna go Minneapolis too, and I'm also gonna take a shot at St. Paul because I want them to step up their game. I think they're lacking a little bit. It used to be a popping city, and now it's yeah. you know kind of a dump. Yeah. In 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 all honesty, <laughs> fair. Um, yeah. you know they just they've got to do something there. You know, I want to get back there, but it's just like it's not worth my time right yeah. now. So you know, do something to yeah. get me back there. I honestly want to sign a petition to get the wild to Minneapolis. Because <laughs> get them over here. <laughs> like, get them out of St. Paul. I don't want them there. Yeah. You can bring cassettes too. Yeah. <laughs> Boss man, you're probably conflicted on this one though. Cause you're, you go to St. Paul quite often. So yeah, no, I'm a St. Paul guy. I'll say it. Yeah. Wow. I lived in Apple Valley for like the first three years in the city. So I was so close to St. Paul. That was like my spot. But I also went to almost enough wild games this year to be like a season ticket guy. Yeah. So, I just I've spent a lot of time in St. Paul. I just love kind of the atmosphere, you know, around the wild. Yeah. I think the whole point about, you know, only the wild being there and like having it not be as popular is I think what makes it so great because you do keep some of the trash eater crowd that you get in Minneapolis out. Uh, I know there's the whole crime argument as of last year though, that's not a very valid argument, so I can't really go there because of the whole truck park thing. Yeah. But uh no, I mean I honestly I like I like both of them a lot. Yeah. Um it depends on the time of year in the winter time definitely St. Paul cuz of the wild, but in the summer it's hard to beat a Twins game and you know the Loon and Brothers and Cowboy Jacks if you're still into that. Um <laughs> Yeah. Some nights. It's it's yeah. tough though, but I'd say at the end of the day probably St. Paul. Yeah, just a couple of elite twin cities there. Um <laughs> big fan of both, but yeah, I'm going Minneapolis. Let's uh Let's move on to Reggie's career. There's quite a bit to talk about here. Um, so, Reggie, you, you, you're born in Winnipeg, Manitoba. Yeah. You you grow up in Calgary. Yeah. Um, does this mean you're a Calgary Flame fan? Um, wh- who are you cheering for there? Yeah, it's – yeah, I mean, the Red Mile, it's just it's Calgary all the way for sure. I mean, that's it's huge for the city. But um, you know what? It's – the, the people there love their hockey so i mean yeah. like it's it's calgary all the way but um you know what if i'm i go old winnipeg jets yeah like old winnipeg jets okay. like we're talking like timo solani like yeah you know that's i think keith kachuk like those oh, guys yeah. are talking like oh, yeah. yeah old winnipeg jets but you know new era now like you know spending most of my time in calgary um yeah, it's Cal- so, Calgary so, Flames. So when you're growing up in Calgary, obviously, I mean, I don't know much about your youth here. Like, yeah. you did you grow up like were you were you an elite hockey player growing up? Um, um, I was kind of a late bloomer to be honest. Yeah. Um, you know, a lot of those like AAA teams and stuff like growing up didn't really make the cut, and I was kind of on the borderline of. How do you stick with it at that point? You know, <laughs> when you're when you're not making the teams you want to make and. How do you convince yourself to stay with it rather than, you know, doing something else? I mean, I think I just love playing hockey. I yeah. Mean, yeah. At the end of the day, like just being a Canadian guy and, 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 you know, having the outdoor rinks growing up in the outdoor rinks and, um, and, you know, all your buddies are playing hockey and stuff. And it's just one of those things where you just want to do it. You just yeah. want to play. Right. So, I mean, you guys can contest to that. I mean, it's, it's, you know, hockey, there's not a lot of things better than, being on an outdoor rink with your buddies, you oh, know, yeah. in the winter and days off and uh, doing that, right? Yeah, so, it's great sure. shit. Yeah, so. It's tough not to like it when no, you're a kid. No, 100%, and right? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a great sport. Yeah. And, uh, well, then you eventually, you know, you play juniors. So you make yeah. it to the juniors. You're yeah. playing the AJ there. So I played in the AJ, yeah. Uh, my first year in the AJ, uh, I was uh, I was brutal. I was bad. I'll be honest. Like I, <laughs> I was on I was on the trading block and nobody wanted me and and so I had to stay in with the team in Bonneville in the Alberta Junior Hockey League. So I was I was just didn't really know all this information till later on. I mean, I thought I was doing okay for being a 17, 17 year old <laughs> kid, you know. So uh, kind of stick out my first year at junior, come back and you know actually uh, 
not really sure what happened. I guess being a late bloomer got a lot better my second year. So I had a good uh, second and third year well, junior. Was there a reason for that? Or you just kind of, you know, were a little more experienced? Like, did you absolutely give her and grind that summer trying to work on your game? Yeah, I, I, I honestly, I think I, I put some more effort in. I, yeah. You know, it was kind of one of those things. You're 17. You start, like, kind of working out seriously. Um, You know, so I, you know, focused on a lot of individual skills as well. And you know, get outside, maybe stick handle. Is that you know, the year? Whatever. Is that the year you you worked on your clapper? Is was, that when you started working on? <laughs> does it? Does he have a piss missile? Oh my god, really? it's an absolute missile. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, I think. Oh, I was kind of using a maybe a Lindstrom curve back then. You know, one of those. Oh yeah. Kind of waffle curves with. It's kind of got a square with the toe square on blade. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The square, square toe. toe. Yeah. yeah. So. Just pick pucks off just, the wall. Just kind of started to not really care what people thought and just just played, you know. So yeah. were, were you a lanky kid and you grew into your body or? Was no, I was just... like, yeah, I was like, I think probably about 190 pounds, like six foot two, okay. somewhere in there when I was playing junior. And, yeah. Um, yeah, I just just stopped caring what people thought, you know. To be that's to usually be honest, you know, that's it usually just, when you start playing your best and you're like, fuck you it, know, I'm you, just gonna play. You get into junior and it's kind of maybes you're not sure if you're good enough yeah and people telling you a lot of things and you know what just i just like block i out, just love playing yeah. lock out the you haters know? throw the beats on that's it turn l you know? black that's i'm the it. man on <laughs> that's it <laughs> yeah i love it so <laughs> okay yeah. so then so then you're playing juniors yeah um i don't i don't really know like you, you could have went college yeah because so, you, you weren't you weren't playing in the dub or the chl so so yeah so my 20 year old year i'm end up being the best defenseman in the Alberta Junior Hockey League. I go from being the worst player to yeah. best defenseman. So I get some college offers, and, uh, you know, I'm a 19, 20-year-old kid in Canada. Don't really know much about U.S. colleges and what's going on, right? Yeah. So I, yeah. I get I go on a fly down to uh, Alabama, Huntsville, and uh, I'm like, oh, man, this is, this is great. You know, it was one of my first fly downs, and I was like, this, this is awesome. Go to all the – all the parties and oh, yeah. stuff yeah. on campus, right? I'm staying with the boys, right? You know, in the housing and stuff and go on my recruiting trip. And I'm like, they're like, yeah, we, we want to bring you in. I'm like, yeah, I'm in, right? I'm in. Yeah. And <laughs> little do I know at the time, Alabama was independently. They were, they weren't in a conference at the time. And, you know, so I'm like, all right, well, this is all right. So <laughs> I commit to go to school there and, you know, I come August, whenever you're getting ready to go to school, all the coaching staff and everybody gets fired. I'm like, oh, okay. What's this? What's this mean? <laughs> you know, I, I don't really know what's going on. Yeah. What's this mean? I got a call like a couple of days later. It's new, the new staff. They're like, hey, we're not, we're not going to bring you in, and the rest of the recruits, we're going to bring our own guys in. I'm like, all right. Well, this is now, no, sweet. Yeah, yeah, this is this is cool. Fucking like, assholes. this is really cool. Like, what do I do now? And <laughs> by the time they, I signed my you uh, letter of intent and could have went elsewhere to go to college in the u.s but they tell me too late so i kind of get fucked there a little bit yeah, so yeah i go back i go to a canadian college university of lethbridge and i'm there for a year and i'm looking at this program and i'm just like uh i don't know if this is me so <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so i left and just was like all right i'm gonna go play pro and see what happens was that but the decision there that's how you you just like ah this isn't for me and it wasn't it, it was you know school wise you know i'll get by you know yeah c average yeah which is fine right but you know what i'm looking at this program too not winning a whole lot of hockey games and um i'm just like you know what i'll have a better time going to play pro and so how do you get the pro i mean how do you get recruited so, down so i was uh, i don't this is kind of wild so i i had a buddy at the time uh his name jared lucan um and uh calls me up christmas time in december reg like hey uh I need a guy down here in Allen, Texas. I'm like, well, what's Allen, Texas? Like, I don't know what this is. Like, what league is this? And he goes, well, Central Hockey League. And I go, well, what is that? So I, I don't really know. He goes, well, do you want to play or not? And I was like, all right, yeah, I want to play. So, so I jump on a flight a couple of days later after Christmas, and I get down there, and I'm like, you know, you're 20 minutes outside Dallas, and I'm like, all right, this is sweet. You're living on your own, and, oh yeah, you know, you're you're in Texas, and – you know, it's your central hockey league. You're not making a whole lot of money at the time. This is, you know, the weekly salaries were, I don't know, ranging from yeah. 300, 400, 500, you know, top yeah. 10 guys making whatever they're making at the time. So I'm down there, no bills. I'm like, this is sweet, cool. Like, sign me up and uh, go down there, play 20 games with them, a couple points, have a blast. 
you know, it's good first experience. And I'm like, all right, this is cool. You know, like, what am I going to do next year? So I get a call, call back from another team in, in the central league in Tulsa, Tulsa Leathers. I'm like, yeah, I'm in. Cool. I'm in. <laughs> this is great. I get down there, you know, everything's going well, play 25 games and I'm having a blast again. You know, I'm 20, I'm 21, 22 year old kid, you know, just whatever, live and get yeah. down there and comes in the coach calls me in the office one day he goes uh yeah we got to put you on waivers i'm like well what's waivers like what does that mean and they're like well you know we we got no room for it here we don't we don't really we don't want aka you. we don't want we don't you want yeah we don't want you and i was like <laughs> ouch yeah. all right so i'm sitting there 24 hours on the waiver waiver wire and arizona sun dogs pick me up so i go down to arizona i'm like all right, this is cool. Right outside, like Phoenix, and oh, great! You know, spot. whatever. I go down there and play some more games and get on the waiver wire again. <laughs> we don't want you. <laughs> so I call my dad. Call my dad after you know second time being on the waiver wire. I go, Dad. Uh, not sure. Not sure what's going on here. He goes, Well, yeah, I don't know if this is for you. Maybe you got to come home, go back to school. I'm like, No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> day later the ontario rain call in the east coast league i go dad got this call from the ontario rain he goes where's ontario in toronto i go no california he goes well what's that i go i don't know it's the east coast league so i go down there and play 13 games and i just was like played 13 games and i had 11 points i think and playing well nice little playoff run and then just kind of fell into place what was separating what was separating the coast and the chl at that time just different leagues kind yeah, of like, it was just honestly in terms of skill was the chl better you know what I, no i thought the chl the chl was older older guys okay. a lot of older uh at the time uh, a lot of older american league ex-american league guys some nhl guys and and uh also playing in the central hockey there's so many tough there's so many tough guys too i'm yeah. like and i'm like looking at some of these guys and they're, <laughs> they're huge and they're like yeah. and i was a pretty big guy too but yeah. i was not fighting guys who are six four, like two thirty five, like two forty, <laughs> just straight like take your elbow pads off and helmet off and that's you know, what they're there for. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like just a big entertainment. Yeah. <laughs> you know, fight three times at center ice and throw your hands around in the air and it's like know, the, call it a day, do it again the next night. You know, go. yeah. It's let's like go. the ice wars thing now. Yeah. Isn't that yeah. a thing with oh, yeah. uh you Hunter, you guys Hunter, Hunter Warner's going yeah. up and doing it. Yeah. Is he actually? Yeah, he's seen that. Yeah. That guy's yeah. a fucking animal. You know what? Too. He's going to do well in that, I think. Yeah. He's nails. He's a, he's a boxer yeah. now. Oh, I yeah. Mean, yeah. But all those guys, you got you to gotta imagine all those guys going up there are absolute nails. Yeah. yeah. You have to be. <laughs> Psychos. Have to be, right? <laughs> to uproot your life and just go to this ice wars thing. I don't know. I'm kind of interested. I mean, I, I'm. I would watch the shit out of that stuff. I mean, I'm going to watch some of the highlights yeah. on that <laughs> stuff for sure. I'm for like, sure. I don't. I, like, what do you you come out you do your little intro and you line up at center ice and you fight so. for, for how long like what do you do first one to get knocked out or fall down or like how's that I, even work yeah, you know like, i don't know because yeah like, like what half, is that or, half the time in fight in, in hockey fights like you don't really have a winner it's no. just whenever they fall down yeah. usually got both guys are tired yeah. like 30 seconds you're yeah, grappling like, what this are they one. just gonna end it like when a guy falls or is it gonna go like <laughs> three rounds like do, were all yeah, those guys ex-hockey players I think so. Beats me, man. Okay, so that at least they know how to like stand. You should on send Joey Rattel there. Oh man, he was Joey Rattel. We played with him in Colorado. Nails, He's man. like a five foot five, one sixty pound guy, and he would just he was one punching six, really? six foot four guys. Like, oh, yeah. and I'm uh, funny story. I was I was looking on my Instagram today, and I was like, she's putting Instagram pictures up of being in, or winning a championship. And I was like, well, what championship? He's in the Quebec Fighting League. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, and I'm like, okay, <laughs> like, what is going on here? The guy was like, good at hockey too. Yeah, he was, man. He was really good. He was really good at hockey. playing the HL a little bit. Like, yeah. just then he was. I'm like, Quebec Fighting League. Like, <laughs> all right, man. Hey, this is great. So, I think he's getting paid pretty well to do that. Probably, man. Probably. Um. So when, I mean, you're obviously around during the time when like the coast and the CHL kind of merged into one league, right? Yeah, yeah. It was. uh yeah, where was I playing then? I was playing in Ontario, yeah, when they they clipped a few Central Hockey League teams. Um, you know, I mean, like, another f kind of funny story. I was playing in Allen, Texas, and we got to go down to, like, Laredo, Texas, like, <laughs> almost in Mexico and, like, Rio Grande, and I'm on the bus down to these places, and there's a U.S. Uh, customs checkpoint right before you get into Laredo, and these guys are coming on with these big, 
machine guns and dogs and stuff. And I'm like, well, what's going on here? Like, <laughs> what, what kind of league did I sign up to play for here? You know, so yeah. they had to clip some of those teams. But, um, you know, the Rapid Cities and Allen. Um, geez, who else was in that? I can't. Tulsa, obviously. Tulsa, yeah. yeah Tulsa and Kansas City. Kansas City was huge back then. So, I mean, I was – that was best case scenario for them to merge. Yeah. You know, yeah. get all those teams into one and eventually kind of have affiliates running all the way down the chain. Right. So, but, um, yeah, I was, uh, I was in Ontario at the time and, um, you know, it was good to see that, Is that, that merger. Like, I mean, what, what year pro was it when you, you kind of like, you're one of the top players, you know, like, you know, you're one of the top players. How long did that take? Probably after I, am kind of figure it out there, lend up in Ontario for the last 13, 15 games of the year. The year after, was it the year after I came in, came in pretty hot and won my first D-man of the year in the coast? Or, yeah, I think it was that year. I came in the next year and just played. I mean, like, everything out the window and just kind of played. And I had that kind of opportunity where I was able to just, just roll with it and not be afraid to make a mistake at the end of the day. Was that, was that the biggest thing, like – you just kind of said fuck it and your coaches let you do your thing and was that the reason for the change or was it like you know you got the nerves out the first 20 games in those shitty spots and then you end up in Ontario and it's just like the right spot you know is there anything that yeah I mean it yeah I mean like just going through what I went through and then just coming in and the coach was like hey like I know you got some skill I know you you got some worth like just let's see what you got yeah I just kind of just said fuck it like yeah i'll sweet. just play and just i can tell start making some plays, you know, i you know? can tell by watching your game now you said fuck it at one point because you do play like that you know yeah like, you, you do have that like i was never able to play the game that way because i was always too scared and i always admired the guys who would play the <laughs> game like i don't give a fuck what's gonna happen yeah like yeah. reggie's the type of guy who'd be last man back and he's not hesitating toe dragging that guy when he's skating <laughs> up the ice and yeah. like no <laughs> not so, at all i mean hey yeah. like i I just kind of learned you you couldn't be afraid to make a mistake at the end of the day, right? I yeah. mean, like, if you're gonna play like that, I mean, it's it's kind of tough to to make a career, yeah. You know, play the game for a while. So, so you end up, I mean, you end up getting three time D man of the year. Um, you win the championship three times. Get yeah. playoff MVP. Yeah. Run us through those championship teams. Um, was it two with Allen or two with Colorado? Two, two with Colorado. One yeah. with Allen. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, first year in Allen. I mean, I get traded Allen at the deadline. I was playing in Atlanta, and uh, I get traded at the deadline in Allen. And I come in, and I'm not really, like, kind of one of their top-end guys, you know, one of their go-to guys, and I come in, and um, we had such a good team that year, too. I mean, like, you know, once playoff time comes, you guys know, like, the depth comes around from the American are, yeah. League and, and, and whatnot. So, I mean, we come in, and, and – pretty much in Allen we geez we beat we beat everybody just kind of right off the bat and we played wheeling the wheeling nailers in the final that year it's hilarious yeah. beat them 4-2 yeah. best of seven series and great feeling honestly like it was a great feeling like winning a championship yeah. in that league it's so hard like it's so oh, hard yeah. to win in general yeah so many games right like it's at every level it's so yeah. hard to win and then you know the next year I think after Allen I'm a veteran now in the East coast league. So I'm, you know, you're only allowed three veterans on a team. Right. So I'm getting calls, Colorado calls. And they're like, Hey, any interest? I go, yeah, definitely. I mean, so did Alan try to resign you after that year or you kind of just get to choose? They tried to resign me, but you know what? I've had so many guys go through Colorado's, the Colorado Eagles system. And like just so much praise, so much good words about that organization. Like it's just ran like an American hockey league team. And, no wonder they're in the American league now, you know, it's just like yeah. the ownership from Martin Lynn down. Like it's just, you know, it's a great spot, great yeah. spot. And just outside Denver there. So, you know what? I, I, that was kind of like coming out of that championship. Colorado was like my number one place. Like if I wasn't going to play in the AHL, like Colorado was a spot. So I was like, yeah, I'm in. So called the coach up. I was like, he's like, Hey, Red's like, I don't know. We're looking at a few other guys. Cause you're a veteran. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm like, you know what? At the end of the day, I'll tell you right now, we're going to win a championship at the end of the year. That's what I said to him. I said, we're going to be lifting the Kelly Cup at the end of the year. He calls me back a couple days later. He goes, you know what? I like that. All right, let's do it. So we go to Colorado. I go to Colorado that year. Little do I know, we 
it's kind of run the board with everybody. Yeah. I mean, I think, I think we won 18, 19 games in a row that year. Who are the, who are the big names on that squad? Big names that year. Oh man. We, uh, that first year, who do we have? Didn't you have a, the, the guy who played in the NHL for a little bit? Uh, well, we had Daryl Bootlin. Bootlin. Yeah, yeah, we had him. We had the Sean Zimmerman guy. He played Zimmerman. World, oh. World, World Juniors Team USA. He, yeah. was, he was pretty. He was really good. Did um, he end up in Orlando? He did. Yes. Yeah. yeah I just met Orlando. him. I yeah, just Sean met him. Zimmerman. This. Yeah, he was deep partner. Actually, like really like awesome guy to play with. Um, I'm trying to think that year who we would have had. Garbs was probably pretty good. Mardo. Jake Mardo. Yeah. Sam Jardine. Um, geez, we just had a, like a good team, but I'm yeah. thinking some of these other guys that Belzee, I played with, too, Alex Belzeal, yes, good Mason player. Gertzen, yeah. some of these guys now they're playing in the NHL, and then you know, like it's just such a good organization. And yeah. then the following year, we got three, yeah. four other young guys that end up playing in the NHL. I'm watching these guys now in the NHL, and like, holy shit, like these guys are <laughs> good players, good players, right? So, Michael Jolie, yeah, man, like just, just good players, you know, and like just, yeah. All around, great time in Colorado. I mean, like, you, we're, we're in the playoffs and we're flying private. Like, yeah. We're, yeah. That's the kind of treatment we were getting there. And it's just like everybody wanted to play there, right? Like, yeah. just That's what I wanted to get into is, like, the, the treatment you get. But, like, I mean, you played for a lot of teams. Yeah. Um, you know, run us through, like, some of the, you know, some of the teams that, you know, you, you weren't treated very well. Um, other teams that you played for that you, you probably wouldn't imagine being treated that well, but you were. Yeah. So, you know what? Like surprisingly, like Allen, it's it's kind of been uh, hit or miss there. To be honest, like early on in my career, actually, like when Central Hockey when I first went there, like the treatment was it was unbelievable. Like we're talking like Mike Medano, like Ed Belfour, these guys are involved with the Allen Americans like back then, you know, and they're just really? like, they just love the boys. Right. They just like want to be a part of something. Right. Yeah. So it was like, it was great and, and whatnot. But, um, Ontario, great spot, you know, got treated well, like we were owned, not owned, but you know, we had good affiliates that year with LA and, um, we had Winnipeg. Well, actually, we had a triple affiliate one year. I played in Ontario, so we I mean we had like. Didn't they have like Manchester and? Yeah, we had like Winnipeg, uh, L.A., and we picked up San Jose. Yeah. Um, when like the old like San Francisco Bulls were in the league and like <laughs> yeah. some of these teams, man, like it was it was crazy. But uh, you know what? The the best treatment though, Colorado. You know, like yeah, uh, Tony Denzer, um, best equipment guy I've honestly oh, yeah. ever had. You know, but. You know, at the end of the day, you, like you guys know, you gotta treat your equipment guy right. If you yeah. treat your equipment guy right, he's yeah, they're yeah. gonna take care of you, right? <laughs> yeah, and, you know, no matter if like maybe a team doesn't have a whole lot of money or they do, but um, yeah, it's like in pro, like when you're playing college and in you're playing juniors, you you're kind of just expected to be treated the same oh, yeah. as anyone else, yeah. um, by the equipment manager and by the trainer and stuff, yeah. you know, yeah. and um, it's just kind of like you know it's it's there so you just yeah you know you're you're working here this is your job but in pro it's like you can pay for better service you know oh yeah like oh if yeah you're nice to them and like give them some tips like they're definitely gonna favor you you're gonna be an their, asshole yeah. or if you oh, give yeah. them a christmas bonus at the end of the year bonus and all that and you're coming back like you're you're golden right like you're you're yeah you're gonna be treated really well right so yeah that's for sure i i every single time i was like nice to an equipment manager he was so thankful yep. because I'm sure there's been a oh, yeah. hundred guys, older guys, whatever they might be coming down. And they're just like, ah, you know, I'm here for Absolutely. a few months, yeah. you know, sharpen my fucking skates. Yeah. yeah. But every time I'm like, oh man, thanks. Or can I get a stick and yep. everything? It's crazy how far that'll go. Cause 100%. it'll fucking, there's some guys that, yeah, just don't treat them that well. And it's like, you probably fucking <laughs> bitch at your waiter too. You fucking prick. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> you know, for sure. like, like, absolutely your your waitress or waiter didn't cook that food right? yeah so it's not their fault <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah i mean it goes a long way you know in in in, in minor pro right at least yeah. you know you treat those people right and yeah they'll treat you right so so i mean you go through you do end up being a, a veteran in the league yeah so people won't know this but the, there's probably you know extra perks you get to being a veteran being a good player in the league yeah what was the difference there? Like, what did you, you know, you probably started out living in apartments with three guys or however it was, or, and then, you know, by the time you're one of the better players in the league and you're a veteran, 
what's the treatment difference there like? Yeah, I mean, like, you first come into the league, you're obviously, like, you're living with other guys in a two, three-bedroom apartment, you know, and you probably got, you know, one of the lower-end apartments and furniture. And, yeah. You know, <laughs> yeah. maybe your mattress is just on the floor compared to guys who actually have a full bed frames yeah. and all this stuff, yeah. you know. Yeah. So, you know what? that's kind of how it starts. You know, I mean, you can't really complain. You got kind of got to work your way up the ladder. Right. So, um, but then, you know, later on in my career, you know, I got, I got a nice one, two bedroom apartment. I got brand new furniture. Um, yeah. You know what? Like I got skates waiting for me when I'm there. I got skates, another pair of Christmas and another pair at the end of the year, you know, and sticks are any way you want them. Right. So it's just, you know what? You, you, you got to work your way up, right? Yeah, so it's yeah. not just like, you know, I see a lot of, you know, guys come in and they play U.S. college and they play in the Western League and the treatment there is obviously like first class, right? You come into some of these organizations and, you know, college yeah. and stuff, you're like, this is unbelievable, right? And then yeah, you we come always, into playing pro. We always talked about that, like how we, you know, we we're very appreciative of of being treated like that oh, yeah. in college but then you get to the coast or wherever and it's kind of like a da- it's kind of like a downgrade where yeah. other guys are coming and, and it's an upgrade for them so they're pumped about it but we're entitled kind of pricks like uh this is a nice you know like, yeah i mean like <laughs> do this for me you come from like you come from north dakota and you're yeah. like holy shit like playing there you know you got your name on your sticks you got your own pattern you got anything yeah. you want right <laughs> to come into some teams playing pro where you're using a 75 flex uh <laughs> madonna sack curve, curve madonna yeah. curve it literally says sackic on it you know and like some of these teams and you're like what am i doing right yeah. so um but you know what also like as you as you play more you see some of the teams who are that treat you better right and yeah. have more money yeah. in the leagues and 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 colorado yeah. was so cool to me because oh, um man. all you older guys and the the, 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 good, the good players on the team and the, the veterans um they all had just sick places where they lived in. <laughs> like, yeah, like you were we, living in that. I was know, living in like a spot. It was three, nasty. Three story town yeah. town home right on the golf course in Colorado. Like, and then we got free golf at that thirty six hole yeah, golf man, course, like, and it was unreal. Yeah, it's you know it's crazy, but you know what? As you like go on, you see obviously you know you see the teams that are like, oh, these guys fly everywhere. These guys are yeah. These guys got the money. I want to go play there rather than yeah. You know what? Before when Rapid City was busting thirty hours and yeah some of these other teams you're like Oof, this is miserable you know like, <laughs> oh, yeah that, well i want to get into that too so i mean you're obviously playing juniors and, and pro for that long like you've done your fair share of bus trips oh yeah you've had your fair share of just probably wild roadies oh yeah what is there anything that sticks out to you that you know like some of the crazier times like oh. one one i can think of i wasn't even involved in but um when i was playing in utah yeah Alan was coming to play us, and their their, their bus or their their flight was canceled because there's a snowstorm um, in Denver or wherever. So they had to bus, and the sleeper bus was out of commission or something. So they had to take a coach bus all the way to all the way to Salt Lake City. It was like a 26 hour drive or something. Oh, I, <laughs> I heard about that. And they, yeah. and they hopped on the bus. I heard about that. Yeah, they hop on the bus and they get stuck in the mountains. Yeah. So they they sleep there on the coach bus in the mountains and they're stuck. They sh- we're playing seven o'clock on like a Saturday or something. I think I think they left like Thursday or something. They showed up at like six fifteen p.m. to the rink, like forty five minutes before the game. They fucking beat us. <laughs> they oh, won no. the game, oh, and they had a brutal team that year Man. too. Like we were better. <laughs> they just beat us, and our That's coach crazy. was so fucking furious. That's cr- yeah. I mean, like. When I was first playing, like the Central League, I was there wasn't enough bunks for everybody, so I was like literally like busting from Arizona to Rapid City, South Dakota, and it was like thirty something hours, and I'm literally laying on the floor, like oh. no blanket, like guys are stepping on me and stuff, and like I'm like, what am I doing? <laughs> like obviously <laughs> laying there just be like rethinking my life decisions, right? Like, all right, what's going on here, you know? But uh, other than like kind of grinding it out for a first little bit in the Central League, like can't say i've i've had too many horrible bus trips because i played in ontario we flew everywhere um and then colorado flew everywhere Allen. by the time i got to there we were flying too you know you get the odd bus trips you know three four hours yeah whatever kind of thing but for me i was i was pretty lucky but there was one this year so i 
I was playing over in Europe this year and in, in England and we were in the champions hockey league and we had to go to Finland to play. And, uh, so we fly from London to Helsinki, Finland, and then we got a bus fucking five and a half <laughs> hours to this Bum fuck. little town yeah. in Finland, Lukorama and wherever it is, I don't even know what's going on. And I show up there, you know, we play, we get smoked cause these teams are Nasty. all these young kids now that just fly around the ice and yeah. Yeah. Fuck them. So the travel's so bad. We leave. So we're sitting in the room after the game. We're like a bunch of old guys. We're drinking beers after the game. The champions <laughs> hockey. We're drinking beers. These other guys are work. The other team's working out and shit. And we're sitting in the room drinking beers. <laughs> we don't have a hotel room after the game. So we got a bus back five hours from Luko Rama to Helsinki. The gap between our flight and when we get there wasn't big enough for us to get a hotel room. So we're all literally in the parking lot of Helsinki airport on the bus for like another additional four and a half hours on a coach bus. Fuck <laughs> Just that. like, it's like one in the morning. Yeah. We're supposed to fly out at six and we're yeah. sitting there like, God damn it. It's pretty cold too. And like we're on a coach bus and I'm like, I'm like this gay, this is one of the worst trips I've ever been a part of here. And then I get, fly from Helsinki to London. Then I got to bust another three hours from London to Cardiff. Like, I'm just like, this is fucking, I thought I was getting, I've come over to Europe. I thought I was getting away from this bullshit, you know? Like, <laughs> and I'm doing this, but like, yeah, the bus trips for me, I was lucky that I was, uh, haven't really been part of any nightmares. Yeah. I think my, yeah, my, my worst trip was, uh, I think it was actually with UND when we were trying to come home from Denver and we rerouted to Minot. Yeah. Oh, hopped on a man. bus there. It was terrible. Yeah. It was, was such awful. a long trip. But, but uh, we circled over Grand Forks Airport for two hours. Yeah. Right what? above Grand Forks because of fog or it's snow. It's too or, foggy or something. Yeah. Then they just said, fuck it. We're going to go to somewhere else. We're going to go to Minot yeah. and drive, what is that, four, four hours? Oh, God. But that, that was the worst. We literally could see Grand Forks and you're just going to go fly eh? four hours away and then drive back. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> like, yeah, like what? Come on. <laughs> That is devastating. Um, well, we always talk about the coast, like how it's crazy and there's there's characters everywhere. Like, oh, yeah. Are there any names that stick out to you that you played with that are just, you know, like movie character guys, you know? Well, this one guy I played with, uh, Jeremy Yablonski. Um, fuck, he was the heavyweight of all heavyweights, I think, in minor, in the minor leagues. Like, he, but like the best, the best guy, like, but like crazy on the ice, yeah. you know, like one of those guys, but off the ice was like, what are we doing? What's going on? How are you? Like, what's going on? Like just great dude. And, but on the ice, he was just like <laughs> one speed. Like they had a funny. switch, man. Yeah, it was, they, it, it was funny. And this, he was telling me too, is like, this guy was fucking nails. And he's like, man, Ottawa center's fastest skater. I can't like every year I was there. I was like, oh, good for you, man. Like this is, <laughs> this is awesome. You know, but like, <laughs> Yet again, watching those guys, the one year I played in the league, I don't know if it could have been the lockout when they had like, so I played in the division with Ontario and Alaska and Utah and whatever. And like we had Jeremy Yablonski, Utah, had Steve McIntyre at the time, Alaska had Justin Johnson. Yeah. Uh, Garrett that. Hunt was in yeah. Stockton. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we had all these guys that were just like, helmets off center ice like <laughs> yeah. we're going you know like <laughs> like it's just and we had this Yablonski guy who would just love to do that stuff you know and yeah. would like lift weights was like benching like 300 pounds right before the game and like stuff like just <laughs> awesome guy like just like but yeah I, it, he was one of the ones that stuck out to me like just all around kind of yeah you know, just just a character and just just a great dude. You know, it's, it's always just like, a, it's always the fighters you remember, oh my right? Gosh, yeah. you know, it's just like, those guys that are just you, they just they're amusing. Yeah, you know? like, like you're just like God. Yeah, I just like watching you because you're just something just crazy to me. He was crazy, and like he like one year we he was playing with us. We go up to Alaska, and he's like, "Boys, come with me." And we're like, "What are we doing?" And he was like, "Going downtown. Like every like Thursday, you can sign up in Anchorage, and like anybody can sign up and just like bare knuckle box and like." <laughs> city hall or whatever it was down there man i was like what is going on here you know like just like those guys you know they're just well, they're like, always like come with me come with me let's go do this like they know yeah. like the little like secrets or like oh funny yeah shit they that's always going know on, you know? Like, like weird hey, like, little things thursday night guys are signing up to fight each other at fucking city hall in alaska anchorage man like just like 
<laughs> what? <laughs> like just some of those things, you does, know. It's just like does Stefan Fournier does that name ring a bell yeah, at all? He yeah. played Wichita. Wichita. Yeah. He was the guy. He was the guy who could barely skate. And Holy just smokes, running man. around Wichita. Was, I, I played with him in Orlando. Holy yeah. smokes, man! He was he he would skate up and down the red line and be screaming and shit like yeah. His oh, whole yeah. War, his whole warm up just consisted of standing on the red line. Yeah, That's man. It. He he was, and then he went from Orlando back to Wichita, I think. Yeah, and I think he's like a assistant coach slash player, or he was there yeah, for oh, a yeah. year. <laughs> one guy, that, you know what? The one guy that I was ultimately scared of, Trevor Gillies, when he played in South oh, yeah. Carolina. Oh, yeah. We've discussed this. Literally <laughs> laying on the boards and warm up, looking at you like, <laughs> yeah, I'm coming for you. And he would be like, <laughs> there was a couple times where he'd be like, skating behind me, like, Reggie, I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. You better make a good play here. And I'm like, oh, fuck. What a, what's going on here? You know, like some of these guys are just. But they, And then it's like. A shift later, they're like, how you doing? What's going on, Reg? Like, you know, they have this weird switch, man. Yeah. They're psycho. Just they're psychos. Yeah, they're they nice are. guys, but then they're also they'll kill you. They're they're like, all good. nice yeah. guys. Yeah. Off good. the ice, they're all fucking. Yeah. Oh, I love that guy. You know, fucking yeah. buddy, buddy. And then on the ice, it's like fucking. I'm gonna criminal. kill somebody. They're they're it's crazy. Good civilians off the ice, and then they get on the ice, <laughs> and they're great criminals. dudes. They're criminals out there. <laughs> One shift they want to hit you from behind. The next shift they're like, hey. We, we, How's your time been this week? What, you, did you do anything cool in South Carolina? Did you do anything cool? Like, you know, like they got fucking bipolar. Yeah, shit, man, it's so good. I mean, hey, like, you know, at, at the end of the day, those like stories and the guys you meet playing, yeah. you know, in the oh, minors, yeah. it's just it's, it's great. It's, it's great. That's why yeah. you do it. That's, that's why. I like, that's why, that's why I, I mean, like, it. yeah, that's why I'm putting off. Yeah, hitting the real world. For still. Sure. I mean, Take I just, your time. I still love playing, and I just yeah. Oh yeah. Take your time. Yeah. You gotta. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean. You're grinding it out in the coast for a while. You know, you put up put up some good years, good yep. numbers. Um, you've got to be thinking like, God, like I'm I'm too I'm, I'm you know I'm past this league now. Yep. Like I've worked my way past it almost. Yeah. Um, and it did take you a little while. I mean, you obviously stuck with it, and eventually, fi- I mean, you played some American League games yep. going up there, but obviously, then you you make it a full year in Iowa to yep. play for the Wild. What's that like? You know, you've been you've been trying to get there for a while. Yeah, um, it's got to feel pretty good, you know, when you make the team and you're there all year. Um, what's that transition like, and and you know how how kind of excited are you, and, and kind of proud of yourself in the back of your mind? Yeah, you know, honestly, like signing an American League deal at 30, like you know, rather than you know playing up and down for a lot of years, and finally getting a full time gig in the AHL was just you know it was awesome. I mean, I had changed my role a little bit just because yeah, you know, you're going up to the American League like one step below the NHL, like, you know, I couldn't do some of the shit I was doing in the East coast league. So, you know, I changed my role a little bit rather than going from like a skilled guy and yeah. just kind of surviving being advance. able to do whatever. It was more of a off the glass and out. Yeah. And, um, kind of a role. So, I mean, like, but you know what, like starting from where I started to, you know, kind of finishing off and getting a one way deal in the American league for, um for two years there before i went to europe was it was just yeah you know one of the the prouder moments of my career you know you're like one step below the nhl and you're playing with all these guys like all this Brand all these young, young guys young guys these young there, guys yeah. now and are just like was it's awesome was was that kind of the feather in the cap that you know you played a full year in the a and now you're gonna go experience some stuff over the pond was that kind of your yeah that was kind of the the mindset for me you know i was <clears throat> what more do i need to do i mean i'm gonna be you know 32 I'm not really gonna get a one-way hl deal anymore i mean you look at the league now it's so good it's just entry-level guys yeah. with a few yeah. fillers right on, on on american league clubs so that was just kind of the mindset now. I mean, I got a lot of miles left in me, but I was just time to maybe go see the world a little bit, you know? So yeah. I ended up going to Cardiff and, and, uh, it was, it was in the UK league, which was a lot of ex NHL guys, but yet I was saying we were in the champions hockey league. So we went to older Mannheim, Germany and the Dell. They were, you know, an awesome spot, Lausanne, Switzerland, Swiss a league team. And then Ruko Lama, Finland, they're like all just, top of the line spots yeah. like you That's see sweet. a lot of these top of the yeah. line players you know that are playing in the olympics for their their countries and and x lot like guys who have five six hundred seven hundred nhl yeah games under their belt playing in some of these teams and leagues right so it was 
was a good experience for sure. It's got to be a nice change of pace there because, I mean, you're playing so <laughs> long, so many years in, I mean, some of the hardest leagues in the world, yeah. you know, the American League and the yeah. East Coast Hockey League in terms of travel and yeah. um, play style on the on the ice. You know, it's a little rougher over, in, I think, you know, over in North America. Oh, yeah. Um, was that was that a nice change for you? Like it was it was really nice. I mean, like bigger ice too, which kind of floated around a little bit yeah. more, you know. But um, you know what? Less body, body taking body checks yeah. and guys trying to run you and whatnot. And um, you know, and over there, it's just more of a skilled game, right? Yeah. So I mean, not necessarily travel's got to be a little better. Travel. I mean, I was in my own bed every night, right? Yeah. Other yeah. than you know, maybe a one night in a hotel right here and yeah. there but you know what it was that league over there like going to belfast ireland like going to scotland you know playing in england i played in cardiff wales like it's just like people love the hockey there yeah like, yeah like sold out rinks it was that's sweet it was a cool experience yeah really cool and made a lot of like cool connections and yeah met a lot of a lot of cool people and you do anything like I know over there you kind of get some all star breaks and tie like a little three yeah. four days off um, and it's pretty easy to travel to different countries. Yeah, you, so you go on any fun trips there? Yeah, so it's super cheap to fly. We're talking like round trips for like forty pounds, which is like sixty five bucks American, right? So we went to um, Paris, um, Lisbon, Portugal. Um, where else did we go? Um, Lisbon was that place? I've seen some pictures. That place looks unreal. gorgeous, gorgeous, man. Like it was, yeah, it was awesome. I mean, like, and um, then kind of, you know, the travel got a little bit limited over there with everything going on in the yeah, world yeah. now, which you know is horrible. But yeah, um, so but you know, I got to see some cool places, and then um, you know, just kind of making the other trips to Ireland and getting some time off there in scotland and doing some gotta be sweet was that had you had you ever been over to europe or overseas before so when you so when you get over there like is a little bit of culture shock i mean everyone's speaking english over there so it's not like too different but it it was but everybody like so at cardiff like i live like kind of right downtown cardiff and like people are i walk outside my place like 10 in the morning people are sitting on the patio drinking beers and i'm like (laughs) oh my god this is this is great you know like these people are awesome right so but they're just like, as soon as they hear like the, you don't have an English accent or a Welsh yeah. accent, they're like, oh, automatically, well, they think you're American. But I'm like, well, no, I'm actually from Canada, but I do live in the US. But yeah. Yeah. they're just like, oh, you're American. Like, where are you from? And just like, just like love you instantly and like want to party with you and stuff. Right. <laughs> so it's like, like people there like party hard. Like everything's like open till six in the morning, five, six in the morning, yeah. you know, and it's like, it's just one speed kind of stuff. I don't there, like, you know? I don't so, like that. I like, it's like when you go to Vegas and they, you know, they, yeah. it doesn't close and you don't know when you're supposed to leave. It's <laughs> no, like, I want, I want them to kick me out of there. Like, <laughs> yeah, you like, should kick me 2:30, out. 2.30, right? like 2.30 yeah. is like a pretty good time to yeah. leave. Yeah. But like people are like, kind of just getting going at 2 30 you know? <laughs> yeah it's gonna be a little different you're probably you know here you're you're starting yeah. the pregame right around 8 30 oh maybe God, yeah. 8 o'clock yeah. there you're like ah boys it's midnight should we start pregame <laughs> yeah like you got a whole night ahead of us it's crazy <laughs> man yeah and then like spent some time in london partying a little bit too like that's another oh yeah another that, speed in london you yeah, know, yeah. The people there like it's just i mean it well you gotta you gotta have you gotta make some cash to live in london that's for yeah. sure but you know what like cool experience though like being in in the uk and just just being in the english-speaking country and well you went to i mean you were in the hat you went to old old trafford i went to old Tra- i went to old trafford yeah i went to old trafford and i, I actually quite a few football games actually I saw football that. they call it football yeah. soccer yeah so like chelsea those games Tottenham, have to be ridiculous oh yeah people are standing That's up so sick like, oh you fucking wanker like just like <laughs> shit like that you know and it's just like i'm like sitting there i'm like dying laughing at what these people are saying you know <laughs> oh fuck off you wanker and, like shit like that is so funny you know like in the english accent and, oh like, yeah just like people get into it man it's just his it pure comedy so <laughs> yeah that's good stuff yeah. um well thanks for sharing reg and yeah. before we before we head out i want to i wanted to bring up the nhl playoffs and kind of get our predictions here um we used to we used to predict the college season and the slate on the weekend. Yeah. So we're gonna bring it back here. Round two. We didn't do round one. Um let's start off with the Panthers. 
versus Lightning. A little Battle of Florida here. Um, who you guys got coming out on top on this one? I'm going to go uh, Florida in seven. I think it's going to be an absolute battle. Um, but Tampa's won it two years in a row. Florida's, Florida. Florida's an unbelievable team, but God damn, like, it's tough to pick I against know. Tampa. There. Kucherov, Stamkos, all <laughs> yeah, those yeah. fucking guys. Yeah, I'm going Tampa in six. I mean, I think Tampa just knows how to win. You yeah. know? I mean, like Florida had a little bit of problem with Washington. And, I mean, Washington's a good hockey club too, but you know what? I think at the end of the day, like John Cooper, yeah, will have the boys going. And they just know. beat the 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 Leafs too. Yeah. It's like uh, Huge. I think the Leafs are a little better than Washington. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's I true. wanted the Leafs to win so bad, by the way. And, and Vasilevsky didn't play great, so no. I feel like he's gonna yeah. probably bounce back. But yeah, yeah, I'm gonna take the Lightning too. I don't know. Um, yeah, six. I think they're gonna win in six. Um, it's tough to pick against the Lightning. They're tied one on one right now, yeah. so it's not you know not not hedging there or anything. Okay. Um, I just can't pick against those guys. You know, Victor Hedman, he's goddamn animal back yeah, there. He's a Norris Trophy candidate. You got Braden like Point. Great. Braden Point might be the best power, yeah. like playoff player ever. For sure. I <laughs> yeah. mean, who is that? I mean, he's obviously <laughs> unbelievable, but it's like yep. you don't really hear much about him during the season. And then playoffs come around, and you're like, who is is this guy Gretzky? Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> yep. Bossman, who you got in this one? Uh, <clears throat> I like Florida. And it's because I I hate seeing the same teams in championships every year. I'm 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 sick of runs, title runs. They're boring. I'd like to see two new teams in it every year. And uh, brunette, he's a uh, he's a wild guy. So you got to have a yeah. little little Homer Homer esque in there. Love that. Yeah, yeah. We'll go that. Florida, but yeah, no, I mean, I, your points are very valid. But this is more of just a bias pick. Yeah, I like that. I I always went with bias picks. Those are the best. Yeah, it's um, good. minimal travel for those guys too. So it's yeah. You know, well, yeah, kind of. I call Could it go either way, right? Yeah. I call it the battle of the bath salts because uh, <laughs> Florida is just big into, into drugs. So. Well, you got the the battle of Alberta up north. You yeah. got the battle of uh, the bath salts yeah. in the south. I like so. <laughs> where is where are the Panthers? Are they are they in Orlando Fort or Lauderdale? no Fort, down for yeah Fort Lauderdale? Fort Lauderdale. I never knew. Yeah, I man. wonder if they're selling those games out. Or if they're Sunrise still, man, Sunrise. Or if they're Florida. still just like fifty percent. No, no, fall. they're they're rocking now. Are yeah. They? Yeah, so is is it a, is it a kick in the dick for uh, the Lightning because Florida got the whole state's name, whereas the Lightning just got a single city's name? Yeah, it kind of yeah. is. Kind of sucks, doesn't it? I'd be a little <laughs> pissed about that. It's like if I'm the Buffalo Bills, I'm like fuck you, Jets. Yeah, right. <laughs> and you, the Jets. How do I how do I get bumped from the Jets? Jets, <laughs> yeah. best team. You can combine the Jets and the Giants, and they're yeah. still not as good as the Bills. Yeah, yeah. that does suck. Uh, it makes sense for the. It makes sense for the Sabers. You know, uh, yeah. Well, you guys are called Buffalo. You're not getting yeah. a New York name. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, next one: Carolina versus the Rangers. Carolina in five. Yeah, I'm going Carolina quick too. Um, I do like the Rangers team, and I was thinking about this. It's kind of crazy. Um, I, I was going through all the rosters. The most the the team where I I've met the most players on is New York, and I never had. But when I started watching them, and I'm like, God, I I know I, I know that guy. I know I know that guy. <laughs> yeah. like, what the fuck? Where did all these guys? When did they start playing for the Rangers? Yeah. <laughs> and how are they good? <laughs> yeah. I hear. Yeah, but going. no, that 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 Hurricanes that Canes team is. Yeah, it's I, Kane. I like them. It's Canes quick for sure. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Canes as well. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, that's gonna be funny when the Rangers sweep them. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Four Could be. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We got uh, the Avs and Blues. I think this is the best. It's. I think everybody in the world is gonna take Avs in four or five. The Blues are so good, man. I know, but the and Avs the, are and fucking the, gross. I don't know, man. Have you ever had? Have you ever had that amount of time off in the middle of the season? How long have the Avs had off since their yeah, last game? But. It's been a while. Game four was Wednesday, last Wednesday, I think, for Preds and Avs. Yeah. So seven days. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's Avs quick for me too. Yeah, I'm going. I'm going Avs in four. I'm yeah. going Blues. Wow. Blues right. are a playoff team. It's a hot take. They've won. They've won the Very. cup. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Um, <laughs> the Avs. The, have, the like, Avs are like, are like, dude. The oh Avs are like the Leafs and all the other good teams that no, they so. just they they don't pull it together in the playoffs. No. I think the first round against Nashville four zero statement. Yeah. That was a little statement, yeah. but yeah, um, that's going out on a limb. But yeah, I got the Blues. I have the Abs as well, but just keep in mind who's in net up there. Yeah, and where he came from previously. Is it a curse? <laughs> it might be. Yeah. I think it is. I isn't know. that isn't that Darcy? Yeah. It is Darcy. 
Yeah. It's hard to root against like Kale McCarr though and, and McKinnon. You know? Yeah, I mean, can we talk guys. about that fucking guy? Oh God. Which one? Kale McCarr. Oh. He's a oh. dude. He he's a goon. You see the video of him eating chocolate chip cookies on the bench? <laughs> yeah. That <laughs> shit was hilarious. Yeah. He's just hammering cookies on the that's bench. That's some Tucker. That's some Tucker Pullman yeah. shit right there. He used to always yeah, just fucking know. be snacking on the bench like, oh, I need some. I need some in me. I don't get that. <laughs> don't you get a side ache from that? Yeah. I or don't. like Ovi just drinking Dr Pepper. On this, have you Ovi's, heard of that? Ovi's something else. I don't. I, mean. I, I don't get it, man. Ovi's not human. It's like that guy. I've I've also heard, you know, the the amount of vodka he consumes as well. It's <laughs> like sure. Jesus. He's still putting up fifty a year. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> clearly, he's doing. He's defying. I'm not. Odds, I'm not so. questioning any of these guys' ways. I'm just. No, I'm yeah. just. I'm just curious. Yeah. On, on how it works. No, and it's it's deceiving because you know when you're a guy like myself, um, I I will see Ovi. You know, drinking Dr. Pepper, and I'll see Kale McCarr eating a cookie, and I'm like, oh, well, I can do that too yeah, then. Yeah. <laughs> but that's the wrong thinking. Like, I'm not, I, I forget that I'm not them, and I can't do that because <laughs> I don't have that body. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we'll move on. Bell, Battle of Alberta. Yeah. You got McJesus or no, Johnny I got, Hockey? I got, I got Flames. I honestly, I think Flames and seven, man. I think that's going to be a back and forth series. Yeah, I got Flames and six. I think it's an absolute sin that Connor McDavid hasn't done really anything yet. Yeah, but I don't think it starts this year. I I, yeah. I want to. I'm gonna I'm gonna take the Oilers just because I didn't really like how the Flames looked against Dallas, but also. I didn't really like how the how the Oilers looked. Not sure, the Mike, not sure Mike Smith's the guy. That's I yeah. agree. It's getting. I agree. It's yeah, it's getting shaky. you the promised land, but yeah. I don't know. Hey, but you know, I mean, seen weirder pe- things. People were making fun of him for picking up Evander Kane, and oh, ever since they got sleeper pick Kane sure. in there, he's been <laughs> yeah, he's backing been it up yeah. so far. Yeah, he is. Yeah. I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna split us up here and go Oilers as well, uh, oh. simply because they have that kid Ben on their side, and I feel like if I yeah. support him as well, oh, I'll awesome. get some good yeah. karma from yeah. that. Yeah, that's, so that's, that's like the yeah. story of the year. It's it it's really 100%. hard. I follow that entire thing, and now I'm like a sucker for the Oilers. I don't oh, get yeah. it. But Flames are a great team too. I think that one. Yeah, it goes seven games. Yeah. Honestly, yeah, love to see it. Yeah, yeah. Well, there they are, folks. Those are the predictions. Um, Maybe not listen to any of us. We don't really know what we're talking about, but uh, we gave you our predictions there. So do with that what you will. But, Reg, thanks for coming on this week, man. Really appreciate having you in here. Um, another great week, and we'll see you guys next week. Yeah, it was a pleasure, lads. I'm